Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for watching this video. And today we're going to be starting this amazing 1981 Mercedes 300 SD uh, W126 chassis. This is a legendary car, and this specific car is very uh, special to me. Uh, I have a really like rich history with this car. When I bought this car like, two and a half years ago, it was really neglected, you know. And I felt so bad, and I bought this car because I wanted, I wanted to save this car. So um, as of right now, it's been sitting for like about three months, and I haven't started this car up. I just had the battery disconnected, and as you know, I have other projects and other cars that I work on. So it's kind of hard to like manage time. Uh, last thing I did on this car was replaced. I replaced the right front fender on it, and I still have a lot of other things I need to do on this car in the future. I have like three uh, other doors that I need, to, I need to install on this car, and. Uh, uh, yeah, slowly but surely I'll be working on this car and like I said, thank you so much for everything and all your support It really helps a lot and keeps me motivated uh, and um, what, The reason why this car is so special to me is because uh, like a year ago I actually drove this car across the United States and it was an amazing an amazing trip This car really surprised me a lot. This car has a legendary OM 617 five-cylinder turbo diesel made by Mercedes back in the 70s and 80s and this car, this engine, uh, has a lot of miles. This car has a lot of miles. It has about like half a million miles on it right now, if not more. I'm pretty sure it's a lot more than that, though. Uh, and when I drove this car across the United States, it was the car was in pretty poor shape, actually. Uh, but it's amazing. I took this car to Grand Canyon. I took this car like all over. I went all over the place with this car. It's pretty amazing. It still made it no problem. Didn't even give me any issues. Pretty much, uh, except that it overheated at one time in the mountains. But uh, yeah, that was that was something. It was the reason why is because the radiator was uh, clogged up in the like in front of it. Literally, there was a bunch of garbage and stuff. That's all. That's why it uh, uh, slightly overheated. But other than that, it's amazing. Uh, it's doing great. The body is in pretty bad shape. Uh, it lived uh, all of its life in Midwest uh, where they use a lot of salt and during the winter time so it's pretty bad uh, sadly but uh, I really want this car saved as you can see or kind of see in the video I have some extra parts for this car uh, I have this bumper for this car and some other stuff so please don't judge if you see some of this stuff don't it doesn't really mean that it's garbage you know it's just a really good used parts you know um, and I'm just that, that type of guy and I really I started saving a lot of classic car parts uh, which is a really good idea but anyways uh, enough talking thank you so much for all your attention and uh, let's get started let's start this baby up like it's like I said I had the battery disconnected for three months it hasn't started in a while and today is the time uh, when we have to do it 